This is breaking news from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And that breaking news tonight, exclusive information from the father of three-month-old Jana Rivera, who has been missing for four days. Her father explained the details of her disappearance, breaking his silence only to Eyewitness News crime bit reporter Steve Jefferson. And it comes as today police unsuccessfully searched a fourth location for that missing child. Now the infant's father is still free tonight and he's telling only Eyewitness News reporter Steve Jefferson about what he says happened to his baby girl. Steve. Yeah, and there's some new developments in this case right now. Mary County Sheriff's deputies just left the home of the father of missing three-month-old Jenna Rivera. Uh, the house you see here behind me with the white SUV, they served a protection order against her father for the rest of the family. Now, Metro Police have not released his name, only calling him a person of interest. But he did not want to go on camera. However, I just spent the last two hours inside his home. You see behind me here on Candy Apple Boulevard and he told me what happened to his baby daughter everything that led up to her being reported missing to police the father of three-month-old Jenna Rivera says he did not harm his baby daughter but tells eyewitness news she is no longer alive in tears off camera the father says 1:45 Thursday afternoon he found Jenna upstairs unresponsive, dead, he says, from natural causes. With his other children downstairs, the father says after failed CPR, he panicked and put Jenna in his SUV. The three-month-old's father says eventually he put Jenna in the dumpster at the Mason Gardens apartment complex here at 42nd and Post. That led to searches by Metro Police at three different sites, including a Southside landfill. Jenna's father told Eyewitness News the same day her mother reported her missing, eventually he took a police polygraph, explaining what he did in panic, saying he passed the polygraph. Now, as police enter their fourth day of searching for the baby, the father insists, although Jana is dead, he did not harm her. Jenna Rivera's father told me after sitting with his wife, with his, uh, the baby's mother, his girlfriend, and two of their children, he explained to them what happened Thursday night here at the house. He explained that he had placed her in the dumpster to the family. The uh, mother of the child then called police. He says he has cooperated with police from the very beginning, including taking that polygraph test and passing it. Now, he says he will continue to cooperate with police, but he wants people to know that he did not kill Jenna Rivera, his three-month-old, but she died of natural causes, and he did, he panicked, put her in the dumpster, and things went on from there. Now, we will have more on this story coming up at 6 o'clock, including the protection order that was served here and more of what he told me while inside his home two hours this afternoon here on Candy Apple Boulevard. Reporting live, Steve Jefferson, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Yeah, a lot of details still to come out in this case. Thank you, Steve.